Hey everybody, it's Tim. A good friend of mine asked me to talk about my fountain pen organization and usage scheme. I figured maybe another person or two might be interested to see what it is. So I'm going to make a little video and show you how I keep my fountain pens and where I put them and how it all works. The term I would use to describe my fountain pen organization scheme is total chaos. Instead of me yakking, I'll just start showing you where my pens live and what I do with them. I usually keep a shirt pen. For the past long time, it's been this Pilot Prera. I like to do a slip cap on the shirt because it just pulls right off. I usually keep a fountain pen in my left front pocket too. Right now, it is in the pouch. This is a Franklin Kristoff Pocket 20 that was given to me by my good friend Steve. Thank you, Steve. I love this pen. So that's, those are the pens I have on my person. Here's my purse. Lately, I've got my Pen Guardian that I love. And in this, I have both of my Osprey pens. I have an Osprey Milano, and I have the Scholar in orange. And in this one, I have the G nib thing. So I can have my G flexi nib stuff. In my briefcase, I keep this, which is three, six, 12 pens. I also have pens rattling around inside here, along with three cameras, a pipette, two pipettes. I've got Pilot Parallel here. This is a uh, Jin Howd, some ink samples. This is my Sean Newton Breaker. I love this pen, a Pilot cartridge. So that's what I carry around with me. Next, we'll go to my home setup. I'll show you the chaos first, then we'll get into the other part. All right, in my bookcase up here, I've got, this isn't fountain pen stuff, but I got a camera and I have this awesome cookie jar. And back here are the inks that I use most frequently. So some Waterman, Diamond Macassar is great. Pearl Noir, Iro Shizuku back here too. I keep stuff in a pitcher. I think that's a Lamy All-Star. Yeah, Lamy All-Star with uh, engraved by my friend Ryan Krusak. All right, moving down. Uh, these are my notebooks. Uh, oh, here, look, a couple, couple Twisbees. I got a 5XD and a Eco in there. Other stuff, green pens. There's my uh, old beat up All-Star. I ran over this with my bike. Mostly old junk. Oh, actually, Fantasy 51. It's a cool pen. So that's about as organized as it, as it gets. Then I have my three drawer thing. In here, it's total, total utter junk and chaos. And then the drawers have pens in them. What are these? Some of these. More stuff. And oh, this one's fun. This one's my legend stuff. Oh, it's my favorite pen. Squid pen. Back here is a dollar pen that I gave my daughter Charlotte. She uses it a lot. I got a Pilot Kakuno here. Oh, here's cool. The uh, Ebonite Conrad. It's this. Uh, Lamy Safari. Here is a knockoff Safari. Peter Pen. Aluminum Caveco. Ooh, a synthesizer. Upstairs, here in a closet with my clothes, I got boxes of notepads, and this is my ink box with lots of ink notebooks. So that's where I keep inks that aren't in heavy rotation. I also have a box of unused notebooks here in the shed. Yikes. And so the only real organizational scheme that I have with these pens is my pen and ink log, or pink log. When I ink a pen, I make a note of the date, the pen, if there's anything special about the nib, and then the name of the ink that I put in it. Been into black inks lately. I have no rhyme or reason to pick a pen and fill it. I have pens that I consider favorites that I haven't seen ink in years. In the meantime, other pens 
just happened to get grabbed. I definitely believe that there is a Pareto distribution in my pens. 20% of my pens probably see 80% of the action and probably even a smaller portion than that get the most use, especially whatever I happen to be carrying around on my shirt, which is usually either this Prera or a Lamy Safari. That is kind of how I do things. It's chaotic and it's what makes me happy. Thanks folks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.